Hey guys, welcome back to the Late Mine Show. I'm Steph and today I want to introduce you to a very fundamental mod in Minecraft. It's called Just Enough Items, aka JEI, and it basically shows you all items and their recipes in Minecraft. This video is mostly for beginners and it will teach you the basics of crafting. Let's get to it! Once you've created a new world in Minecraft, you will start the game in some random spot like a forest or desert or another biome. In my case, I have spawned in a forest which has a lot of trees, which is a good thing. And there is a chameleon right here. What do you usually do first? You start by pressing the E button of your keyboard. In the middle of the screen you see your inventory and on the right is the item list which contains all items at your disposal in the game. We will cover the item list first. You can browse through the item list by clicking these arrows here, left and right. This will change the pages or you can do the same thing by scrolling with your mouse up and down. When you're looking for a particular item, browsing through hundreds of pages is not the best way though. That is why you have a search bar below to help you find what you need quickly. To start typing in the search bar, you either click in the search bar with the mouse or you can press Ctrl F on the keyboard. This combination will activate the search bar and you can start typing straight away. To delete a word, you can either press backspace to delete the letters one by one or you can just right click on the search bar and the whole word will disappear at once. Pretty convenient. If you'd like to revisit a previous search without typing the last word again, you just press the up arrow of the keyboard and there you go. This is my last search. Another trick, you can also search items by their mod name. To do that, you need to type the at symbol first and then the name of the mod. For example, at mechanism will show you all the items that are part of the mechanism mod. In this case, the mechanism mod here has three pages that you can browse through and look at all the items that are part of this mod. Then I just right click on the search bar and the whole word disappears. Another nice trick, you can do multiple searches. For example, search two items simultaneously by typing the name of the first item. For example, sword, then you type vertical bar and then the name of the second item, which will be lamp in my case. I can now see all swords and lamps that I have at my disposal in the game, but nothing else. This is how you do a multiple search. Now back to the item list and crafting. When you left click on an item of the item list, a new window pops up that shows you the recipe of that item. These are basically the ingredients and the particular pattern in the crafting grid in order for you to produce that particular item. There can be more than one recipe through which you can browse over here to see the different ways that you have at your disposal to craft an item that you want. Not every item however has a, a lot of recipes. If we click on another item, for example flint and steel, we only have one recipe and it's really straightforward. So just remember that the recipe shows you what types of items you need and usually the position of that items in the crafting grid. This is the moment where I would like to point out that when you press the E on your keyboard and when you see that view, your crafting grid is only 2x2. Two two. However, when you click on any recipe, every crafting grid here is 3x3. Three three. How do you create that 3x3 three three grid? This is one of the first things that you need to do. So you start punching a tree just by continuously left clicking on it until it's broken. And now that we have two oak woods, you press the E key. This is your inventory and here you are storing that two oak woods that you just punched. What do you do? You place the two oak woods here in your small crafting grid and you take the oak wood planks. Now these oak wood planks would help me create a crafting table. I take out the crafting table from the small box here and now I place it in my main hand. Now what do I do? While I'm holding the crafting table I just right click on the floor. <laughs> And then you just right click on the crafting table itself and there you have a 3x3 three three crafting grid. I will just quickly demonstrate with something very simple. For example, a wooden sword requires two oak wood planks and one stick. 
A stick is created by placing two wood planks like that in the crafting grid and two oak wood planks will produce four sticks. You take it out, you left click on the item that you need to see the recipe again and here if you see that plus button it's active and when you click it the crafting table will automatically extract the items from your inventory that you have prepared in advance and it will position the items in the right pattern so you can directly take the item out of the box here and place it in your hotbar and there you go this is how you create an item very simple great now you know how to craft a crafting table and how to use it which is the first step of your progress in the game congratulations I would like to cover some more basic controls related to the item list here. I showed you that if you left click on an item, you will see the recipe of that particular item. However, when you right click on an item, a new window will show you the uses of the item. This means what other recipes is the chosen item part of. For example, when I right clicked on the sword, I see that the sword is part of some other recipes. I have two pages in here. So this is basically how you can check the uses of a particular item. If I want to check the recipes of items that I already have in my inventory, however, use the following. You hover over the item and you just press the R key of the keyboard. This will show you the recipe. The same goes for the uses. If I hover over the stick and press the U button of the keyboard, it will show me all recipes that the stick is part of, which is a lot. This is just the first of 400 pages. There is one more thing left to cover. When you play a mod pack with a variety of different mods, there may be more than one way to craft a certain item. Let's take the sticks as an example, because we already have them. When I hover over them and press the R key, I can see all the different recipes to craft the sticks. So the part I would like to cover is this one. Here you can see different tabs that show you different ways to craft just one type of item. If I click on the second tab which says smelting, this means that we can also produce sticks by smelting. This is the method or the process. If I click on the next tab it says dehydrator. So this is basically a third way. I can use redstone furnace. You can just obviously find sticks in your world. Mob drops. This means that when you kill a mob, there is a chance for the mob to drop a stick. You can also find sticks in dungeon chests and so on. So these are all the different methods that you can use to find or create stick. And since I'm playing a, a mod pack with more than 380 mods, this is why I have such a variety of different ways for producing one and the same thing. So back to the beginning, if you decide to use not the crafting table, but let's say smelting, this is the process and here on the left side, there is a total of 15 machines that you can use just for that process. Let's say you decide to create sticks by smelting. This means that you will need a particular machine called furnace in order to do it, which means that you have to craft that particular furnace. How do you do it? You just left click on the picture here and a window pops up that shows you the recipe in a crafting grid, which is pretty easy. This is what we're looking for. And now you're just a pro who knows how to use the GAI and the intricacies of crafting. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful. I'm sure you could have figured out all of that stuff by yourself just by experimenting. But I'm happy to help you out and give you the boost to start making awesome things in Minecraft. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click that like button below. This is all the support I need and appreciate. Thank you for watching. See you soon.